All right, hello everyone. I wanted to do a quick short video showing you guys some more about the application as we develop it. Uh, so this video is gonna kind of go over the keyframing. Uh, now, what is keyframing? Keyframing is typically when you've got a shot to do, that could be a video shot, it could be a time lapse, it could be something else, and, uh, or it could be stop motion animation, and you wanna move through a series of points. So you want your camera to move uh, very fluidly um, to give you a good smooth video shot. Now, how Xebo helps you do that is really, really cool. We have a built-in keyframing uh, feature that's got a whole bunch of other stuff connected to it and it's really cool. I'm going to show you guys some of the uh, simple parts of the keyframing application and how it works. So what's my setup right now? So I've got uh, the Exibo slider, so this is the S10 slider, so it's the one meter version. Uh, I've got the Exibo controller, I've got the HDMI input coming from the camera, I'll explain that at the end, it's pretty cool. And then I've also got power and then the connections to Exibo in the back. And then I've got the Exibo uh, Z1 uh, pan and tilt unit. Uh, just so that you guys can see everything. Now remember though, that Xebo is still gonna work even if you only have one or you know three or two of these things connected. Um, and uh, that, that's okay. So you can just use whatever you want, whatever you have set up, it all works. And the only connection I have to my camera right now is this HDMI connection. So what is the keyframing app? So what you can see here is that we have this graph uh, and this is right now we're running this on PC. I'm gonna show you on a phone in a second. And you can see that we've got these dots all over the place. So what are these, what are these dots? Uh, so these dots are, the green one down here is our slider motion. Uh, now what you can see is that if we add uh, a dot to our slider, we can actually uh, change how our slider motion looks. So if I do this, it's gonna make the slider go slowly, slowly, slowly up, and then all of a sudden, boom, the slider's gonna fly across the end, okay? And that's gonna be very, very fast. So this motion, this axis here, this represents the entire motion or the angular motion of each of these joints. Whereas this along the bottom represents our time. Now right now, I'm gonna get rid of that slider point. So we can have as many points as we want. That's the other thing. So if you wanna have a billion points doing a weird complicated motion, that's okay. Um, so uh, right now we've got it set to 10 seconds. Now 10 seconds is a pretty typical shot for video. Uh, you can do less than one second. You could set this to be 24 hours if you wanted to do something very slow for a time lapse or for uh, like night video, stuff like that. Uh, so what we can do is we can change this stuff. So I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to move the pan down a little bit just to show you guys. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of that other pan point at the end. I don't really want that. And then I'm going to make it pan opposite. So the pan and the tilt are kind of doing opposite things. And the slider is just going to go here. And then the slider, that means it's going to stop motion there while the other two axes are still going. So you can actually control that as well. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm not going to run it from here. One of the cool things about Exibo is that uh, the application works from different platforms at the same time. So here we've got it running on the PC, and then if I go ahead and open up a phone, uh, you can see that we also have the same thing displayed on the phone. And uh, what that lets you do is it lets you have someone else set it up for you. So for example, someone could be setting up and working on your keyframes. Well, you could be working with uh, you know your subjects or the scene or whatever it is that you have going on. Uh, and then you can just execute the motion from your phone as well as doing edits. So I can edit the keyframes uh, directly from my phone uh, at the same time. Then the other cool thing is let's say that you set this up and then you've got to go walk somewhere else to set things up. You can then also start and run it from your phone. So anything you can do from the PC application, you can also do directly from your phone application in the same way. Uh, so now what you can see is I'm going to run it uh, and you can see Xebo is going to do some weird stuff. So it's going to pan down. It's going to maybe pan up and look at me run to the end, so you can see it keeps panning and tilting. Uh, so it does some cool stuff, then it's gonna return back to its original position, uh, and then we can start it again, or we can look at the keyframes um, along the way. Uh, so then one of the other cool things that you can do, and this is a really, really neat feature uh, that's pretty exclusive to Xebo, is that you can watch the camera feed while you're looking at the keyframes. So for example, if you have two monitors, or you split your browser, or maybe you're on your phone you look at the video feed, and your laptop you look at the keyframes, whatever, you can do whatever combination you want. Uh, so for example here, uh, if I go, I can look at the camera feed, and now you can see me as the camera sees it. Uh, this is, yeah, that's this guy here. Um, and uh, that lets you to uh, set up the keyframe at the same time uh, that you are uh, viewing the camera feed. So you can actually not even be near the subjects and everything that you're filming, and you can set up everything remotely and you know what the output shot's gonna be because you can see it from your camera. So anyway guys, this feature, these features that we've shown you guys are still pretty heavily in development. We wanna hear from you guys. We wanna hear about what you think, how it's gonna be useful. 
Uh, so in the comments section of this YouTube video, we want feedback. So if you think you don't like the colors or maybe uh, you, know, you want some new thing added to the keyframes that you would use on a daily basis, we wanna hear about this stuff because we wanna add it to Xebo to make it better. So anyway, guys, this is just a quick video to tell you guys about this cool feature. Uh, we'll be back soon.